my dear students i am your english teacher let us start our fifth lesson today's topic is paragraph writing let us first start with the definition what is a paragraph a paragraph is a number of sentences grouped together that means written together and relating to one main idea or what you also called as main topic one main topic one main issue or one main theme unlike an essay that contains more than one main idea the opening lines or opening sentences first two sentences of a paragraph contain the main idea they are the key sentences that is the important sen important sentences because they unlock or open the main idea or main theme which is to be discussed within the paragraph then the next lines revolve around the main idea discussed in the opening lines they are the sub ideas about the main idea here we have to you have to keep in mind that you should not get deviated from the main idea you should not that means you should not include some other main idea in these lines you have to revolve around just one main idea that you started in the opening lines of your paragraph and then you will continue your paragraph till you will come to the end and then the last con last lines or the concluding lines one to two last two lines we shall uh, we can say should again refer or point towards the main idea and only then we can say that it is a good paragraph and also a paragraph the opening lines and the concluding lines they are the most important lines in a paragraph a paragraph also is written in one go we start from a point till we come to an end and whatever we have to uh, write we uh, write in the uh, in the mid lines and then we come to the end accordingly and so there in in a paragraph unlike an essay we don't divide a paragraph we'll write in just one go let us have some examples suppose you are right to write suppose you are um, you are supposed to write a paragraph on apj abdul kalam so you have got two main ideas one is if you describe his life where you can include birth his childhood his adulthood his parents his education and his death or you can write the main idea of your paragraph as apj abdul kalam as an educationist or as a scientist where you will describe his contribution towards the education you will describe his contribution as a scientist as he was the one of the greatest scientists of our uh, country you can describe it and how what uh, now what are his um, contributions in the field of science so it's up to you whether you will choose this as the main idea of your paragraph or this as the main idea of your paragraph but you have to keep in mind that you don't have to mix these two either you have to write about this um, uh, as an educationist as or as a scientist and you have to describe him in this sector or you have to choose this as you as the main idea of your paragraph similarly let us take another example if you are supposed to write a paragraph on a place let it be pahalgam so there are again two main ideas uh, where uh, what uh, you can choose as a main idea of your paragraph suppose if you want to write it as a place you will write its location uh, from uh, srinagar its um, height on what height on what altitude it's located its meadows its streams and its snow capped mountains etc or another main idea you can also uh, if you want to choose some other main idea you can choose uh, its pahalgam as a tourist destination where you will write how it attracts tourists 
not only uh, from our country but from throughout the world and how it provides pleasure to them during summer and during winters um, in the form of supports in the form of skiing in the form of river rafting and etc so now it's up to you whether you will take this as the main idea of your paragraph or this as the main idea of your paragraph but it should be clearly stated in the first lines of your paragraph whether this if you choose Pahalgam as a place, then you will start with that where it is located and what uh, uh, now in which district it is located um, and it is um, uh, uh, and how much far away it's from Srinagar and main capital uh, summer capital and all that and accordingly you will start your paragraph. So in our paragraphs, what I want to say you that you have to include only one main idea and it's up to you what you want to choose what main idea you want to choose in your paragraph now let us come to different types of paragraphs there are many types of paragraphs like we have descriptive paragraphs where we uh, where you describe an object a person a phenomena a thing you have narrative paragraphs where you narrate an event where you have reflective paragraphs uh, and in case of reflective paragraphs uh, our opinion or views about something is expressed where we have argumentative paragraphs where we agree or disagree with something which has already been said or which has already been written and some other uh, paragraphs as well but in your syllabus only first three um, uh, these types that means descriptive paragraphs narrative paragraphs and reflective paragraphs are, are included and we will go uh, through these one by one let us first start with descriptive paragraphs what are descriptive paragraphs in descriptive paragraphs an object a person a place or a phenomena is described like we say a computer we can have we can choose this as our main idea that its features that it's a computing machine we can write about its parts like its C, uh, its parts are CPU hard disk monitor mouse etc or you can choose the main idea of your paragraph as its uses and benefits now it's your own choice in the sim similar manner in case of a phenomena a logical sequence is followed like there is a start there is a middle there is an end for example if you are supposed to write a paragraph on how to make a cup of coffee so you will start with by starting your paragraph that first you put uh, you turn on the gas and or you turn on the stove and then you put an utensil in it you put some milk in it and then how you prepare the cup of coffee and then how you put the coffee in your cup and you have it and you enjoy it so in case of a phenomena there is a start there is a middle and there is an end and in case of descriptive paragraphs, tense that is more used is present tense. But if required, you can also use future tense and past tense depending on the situation, what situation demands, what you have to use, you can accordingly use that. So in case of descriptive what we learned, in case of descriptive paragraphs, you have to simply describe something if you start with a person you can start with his features his um, facial features you can start with his height you can start with his um, you can start with his um, uh, this um, childhood you can start with his birth you can start with his childhood and then coming to the adulthood and then coming to the next phase of life and all that and similarly if you describe a place uh, it's up to you what um, will be the main idea of your paragraph whether it will be its 
features as a place uh, where it is its location uh, or what we say at its location from some other place uh, it's um, at what altitude it is located or you will describe its um, like uh, surroundings and so accordingly or there can be other point its importance as a some place as a particular place why it's important you can also choose that as your main idea so it's up to you you describe in descriptive paragraphs you write in detail you describe these things so this is how you write descriptive paragraphs and in our next lecture we will discuss other paragraphs that is narrative paragraph and reflective paragraphs thank you for today have a nice time goodbye